Hey, Nej. Yo, what's up? Cloud and Spash. Oh! Is that it? Yep. Okay, because normally we do like a whole thing. Nope. Okay. Hello, I'm Ilnej, and Cloud is in Smash. Cloud Strife from Final Fantasy VII, who has never made a noteworthy appearance on any Nintendo console, is in Smash. This is something people have wanted since Melee, but even after the additions of Solid Snake and Ryu to the roster, I didn't think this was possible. Am I excited for this news? Yes. Am I gonna download Cloud the day he's available? Absolutely. But one question that keeps nagging at me is, is Cloud good for Smash? The Smash Bros. brand has undergone a fair amount of changes since the first game for the N64. What was once a mashup of Nintendo's most iconic characters eventually became more of a showcase of Nintendo's broader legacy. But starting with Brawl and continuing into Smash for the Wii U and 3DS, it's very apparent that Nintendo was trying to keep Smash Bros relevant. Characters from more recent titles are added to the roster, while more classic characters are overlooked. And with the addition of characters like Pac-Man and Mega Man, it's clear that Nintendo is open to broadening the definition of Smash-worthy. But that doesn't quite explain the case for Cloud. Sonic and Ryu and even Solid Snake all make varying degrees of sense. These characters may not be owned by Nintendo, but they have played a part in Nintendo's history. But Cloud really hasn't. He's appeared in games on Nintendo consoles, but never as a main character character, only as a cameo. And while plenty of people are excited about this, myself included, it's also garnered a fair amount of criticism. Of all the characters Square could have provided, Cloud makes the least sense. Kane from Final Fantasy IV, Chrono from Chrono Trigger, and Geno from Super Mario RPG are all Square characters who appeared on the Super Nintendo. So why choose a character from the first Final Fantasy game to not appear on a Nintendo console? Because Geno and Chrono don't have the same mass appeal. They may be beloved by gamers everywhere, but they also have very cult followings. Smash Bros. appeals to gamers of all ages, and that includes people who have never heard of and will probably never play Super Mario RPG. But pretty much everyone knows who Cloud is, because Square won't let us forget. What this says to me is that Nintendo is aware that they're running very low on iconic characters. They have Mario, they have Link, they have Pikachu, but who's left on Nintendo's bench that would have the same mass appeal as Cloud? The only character I can think of who they recently added was Ryu, but again, Nintendo doesn't own him. So it looks like Smash Bros. is no longer just about iconic Nintendo characters, but iconic video game characters in general. And while that's cool in the here and now, is that gonna be good for Smash in the long run? In five years or so, will these third-party developers still be willing to work with Nintendo? Sonic obviously isn't going anywhere, but Snake didn't come back. Who's to say the same won't happen to Pac-Man or Mega Man or even Cloud? Most fighting games have a rotating roster, but Smash has always built on its roster, with the exception of one or two characters. But what's gonna happen if Smash Bros. for the NX comes out and we lose five or six characters? Characters people have obviously latched onto in the online community. Who knows, maybe Smash for the Wii U will become the new Melee and people will still be playing it years after it's relevant. But if Smash Bros. is more just about gaming as a whole, then what does it mean to be an iconic, Smash-worthy character? I'm just saying I'm probably not gonna be as excited if they announce Master Chief next month. And I swear, if they put Goku in Smash, that's one amiibo I guarantee I won't be buying. And I clearly don't have a lot of self-control when it comes to that sort of thing. I told myself I was only gonna buy the Zelda characters. After the last batch of DLC, Sakurai confirmed that he was focusing mainly on fan service when it came to future downloadable characters, and fan service can mean a lot of different things. If nothing else, Cloud's announcement means more left field announcements coming our way, so who knows, maybe we will get Chrono in the end. I'm just hoping the other characters they announced don't need the same level of prominence, because I'm still holding out for Isaac from Golden Sun. But now I wanna know your thoughts. Are you excited about Cloud, or are you sick of Square shoving their spiky haired emo poster boy down our throats? Let me know in the comments below. And until next time, I'm Ilnej and Cloud is in Smash. I just recorded all of that with the microphone turned off. Zen, you've done it all once, you can do it again.